So artificial intelligence is the name of the game nowadays, wherever you see AI is the word that you share. And you know, there are a lot of videos on the internet which say that these are AI tools that you should be using. After being a consumer of many such videos and actually finding out tools that could be useful to me as well as to you, in today's video, ladies and gentlemen, I've got five really, really cool AI tools that you guys should definitely try out. And uh, none of these are sponsored. All of these are my personal recommendations because some of these I actually use day to day. So this should be interesting to see whether it's useful to you guys as well. Either way, if you guys like this video, be sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel, press on the bell icon for all notifications so that you don't miss another update from this channel. And let's get started. All right, so I've got my laptop here. I'm gonna be showing you guys live these five tools that I have handpicked for today's video. Let me just turn on the screen recording and we'll be good to go. Alright guys, so the first tool that I want to talk about, of course, is Adobe Podcast. Now, I've made a reel and short on this before, but if you guys don't know about Adobe Podcast, it's basically a really cool AI tool from the house of Adobe, which removes background noise from voice recordings and enhances your speech. Now, what this basically means is that, you know, whenever you're recording audio from your phone, whether you're a content creator and you don't really have a proper studio setup, or you just want your audio to sound, you know, extremely polished as well as like it was recorded in the studio, this is a free tool, by the way, that you can use and it is just so good. A quick little easter egg for you guys, all the last 20-30 videos on this channel, including this one, was actually processed through Adobe Podcast. So, this is the actual audio that is recorded from the mic and this is the audio that you guys are hearing to after it's been edited through Adobe Podcast. Now, using it is super, super simple. All you have to do is go to the website, link in the description below. Once you're there, you can upload any file from this upload bin, uh, you know, whether it's a WAV file or an MP3 file. Once this file is uploaded, the max size is around 500 MB, so you should be good to go since audio files are not really that big unless you're talking about hours and hours of audio. Either way, you can do that. The app is gonna easily, you know, process all of that data and give you guys a very nice polished version. You can listen to the sample speech and yeah, it's just gonna sound a whole lot better. So if you're a content creator, Adobe Podcast is something that I highly recommend. Be sure to check it out. At number two, we've got another tool, which is again for content creators itself. It's called video.ai, but video with a Y. But basically, this is a really cool tool that, you know, uses the power of AI and converts your long videos into Instagram sort of content or portrait content. Now, what happens for content creators and watching you guys will agree as well is that once you create a long video, if you want to create smaller versions of it, it's usually a lot more work, obviously, because now you have to take into consideration the framing and the aspect ratio, etc, etc. But especially if your content is something, uh, you know, like an interview where you can create small snippets and small, uh, you know, versions of that, this video.ai is actually really, really cool. Now, I would recommend this more for, uh, you know, videos that have your face in it and, uh, you know, something like an interview, etc, etc, because it's just video repurposing. As you can see, you can make short videos from long ones easily. And... Uh, it works well, you know, for the free version, you get up to 75 minutes, which is pretty damn good. Now, for the best results right now, it only supports English videos and ensure that there is a spoken audio. So there's a voiceover because the app basically relies on words for that video analysis. And of course, you can upload up to five gigabytes of videos for free. You can also enter a YouTube link. Now, just for demonstration purposes, I had, uh, you know, given this video, which was five new Android launches. We recently made this and you can see it has created a couple of snippets up to one minute, 30 seconds in length. You can see we've got one on the intro, a one on each of the separate launchers. And yeah, more or less, it does a couple of cool things. You know, it also adds captions, which are really, really cool. You can add subtitles, select the style, highlight the words, go ahead and edit everything. 
it's a cool version but it only works if your content is something that this tool can you know properly define so if you're doing something like that interviews or you just want to create portrait clips for instagram from somebody else's videos and upload it on a page this is an incredible tool that will save you a lot of time so be sure to check it out with that said guys at number three we've got flare.ai and flare.ai is again a really cool tool that lets you go ahead and create amazing product photography images right in the application. You can upload your own product photo and go ahead and you know generate different prompts and add different things like product on top of a natural hill in front of mountains and cloudy skies, etc. etc. So let's say you're a photographer and for example, you're gonna be photographing this. This is your uh, you know main subject. So what you can do is you can click a picture of this. The app actually does a really cool job of uh, you know masking the product out so that is really nice so instead of using it as a tool to generate real images that are finished images i would recommend you use it to generate images based on a future shoot so to visualize how the shoot could go what are the kind of frames that you can get you can do something like that you can also play around with the assets that are already provided it's really cool i really liked it for example let me just go to projects and create a new project and i'll show you for example we've got this starbucks mug here then you can go to generate over here you can select a lot of prompts so let's say a paper cup on top of a marble surface in front of the sunlight streaming down and hit on generate of course you can add these fronts in yourself i just selected it just to demonstrate it to you guys so there you go it's done and see it's actually not a bad image now it might look like you know low res to you just hit on upscale image so you can upscale it up to 2k resolution which is cool it just makes the image a lot sharper and makes it look really good and once you're done you can go ahead and download the image and it will look absolutely fantastic as you guys can see this is the upscale version let's just download it and check it out and uh, yeah i'm not gonna lie it looks pretty damn good you can see the reflections and all they're all really accurate overall a really cool app for photographers planning photo shoots especially product photographers be sure to check it out all right ladies and gentlemen at number four we've got a really cool application this is going to solve all of you who are tired of looking for copyright free royalty free music for free so this is called beethoven.ai nice word play there but overall this is an app or a tool that lets you create customizable royalty free music that elevates your story so the way it works is that you pick a genre or a style then you make some cuts and then you change the mood and then you hit compose and let your ai do all the work for you i'm going to be doing this for the first time in front of you guys let's see how this goes let's go ahead we hit on start creating for free you obviously have to sign up so we'll quickly finish these activities okay we sign up with google so here we hit on new track over here and let's title the track uh, Dreamy Sunrise, right? Uh, the length I want it somewhere around one minute is fine. Tempo, I would like it medium. Let's hit on next. So you get to select genres from here. So you've got Indian, pop, ambient, indie, hip hop, cinematic, etc. Let's preview a couple of them, see how they sound. I'm gonna go with Indian. Okay, now I want the dreamy, of course. Hit on apply. Let's see, the, the tool is composing the track. It's really quick, by the way. After you sign up, there's absolutely no waiting around. It's already at 30%. It's a relatively quick tool. And it's done. Okay. Let's go ahead. Let's hear the track. Okay, so we can make cuts as well, wherever we want. And there we go. Free cuts. There are also different variations. Actually, I like this one. So let's just sit on download and WAV.
I'm not gonna lie, this is a pretty cool tool that you could use to generate your own music. Be sure to check it out. Alright guys, last but not the least, we've got Adobe Firefly. This is a really cool tool, just launched again by the house of Adobe. It's Firefly, which is basically their creative generative AI engine. And it's really cool because you can just try it on the web itself. Photoshop Firefly is also there, but over here you can try it on the web as well. So you can see you can create a lot of things, text to image, generative fill, text effects, extend image, 3D to image, generative recolor, etc, etc. So let's go ahead and add generate text effects and let's just write AI tools and hit on generate. Okay, so we select all of this, how it's gonna look, then select maybe, let's do plastic wrap. Shiny wrinkles and let's write AI tools. Go ahead, material and texture, that's our material and texture. Then we add the font, this one actually looks good to me. Uh, we can select the color as well and Man, this is actually cool. Can I select AI over here and get a different version probably? I can. Wow, this actually looks really nice and very sharp. It's actually a good result. What, is there a way I can download this? Okay. That's cool, so now I have a PNG of the same text as you can see and this looks pretty damn awesome actually i think i'm gonna use it in today's thumbnail that's how good it looks adobe firefly is a tool like this you can have a lot of fun with a couple of prompts here if you are a user of photoshop you can obviously also use generative fill in photoshop which in itself is another thing altogether not gonna go very deep into that these were five ai tools that i really hope you guys enjoyed i actually have a couple of more that I use and uh, yeah if you guys like this video if the response on this video is good let me know in the comments and I'll probably make a part two of this video in the future with that said ladies and gentlemen this is Anubhav signing out I'll catch you guys next time you guys have a great day stay safe peace out and bye bye